Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Springville, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am playing with snow scenes. And I am not just playing with snow scenes, I'm going to use the colors I had from my last painting that were left over on my edge catcher. And I'm going to make a sky. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. Hopefully, I can. That'd be nice if I could. So obviously they were a combination of grays. Well, no, silver. It was silver. It was not gray. So it was a little neat as a metallic black. A few drops of actual black. Quite a bit of Prussian blue that went on the top. And it looked pretty white until I spread it across the sky like that. I think this spatula is going to have to go in the bucket. Oh, I thought that was actually like water and not paint. Okay, well I should put my glasses on then. Yeah, oh look! <laughs> There's paint on that canvas there. Okay, I'm going to keep wiping off whatever's on my spatula. Use my fingers. Make sure that my edges are kind of covered. And I'm not going to promise you anything about trees because I have no idea if I could actually manage to do that right now. I am going to wipe off my spatula on my canvas. And then I'm going to take any paint that's residual from my edge catcher and do the same thing. Ooh, I didn't expect that yellow there. I really didn't. So now my edge catcher is, for, for all intents and purposes, more usual than it was a moment ago. And I am going to just, plain and simple, use my spatula to spread a layer of white paint that if I'm lucky, I can use as a tool more paint. That looks like it might actually be the Anita's. So maybe I grabbed the wrong bottle. That's okay because it's basically just an underlayment of paint anyway. Sounds like they're doing construction on something across the street suddenly. So I don't mind those grinding noises from the neighbors. Yeah, I think that's an Anita's metallic that's metallic white that's just very clear, so I'm not going to worry about that. I got most of my paint off of my spatula. And I'm coating my bottom. I'm going to throw this spatula into the bucket right after I take as much paint as possible and spread it down the edges. I don't know why. I keep thinking, this might be the one with trees. The chances are not that good. Okay, so that's going in the bucket. And I am going to make up a container of colors. You know what? The one I can be sure of, with my eyes the way they are, is in the big bottle. So there. I put a whole bunch of that, like three quarters full, this is going to be interesting because I've wanted to do this for a while too. Let's just do it. Let's grab a couple of dots of this, a couple of dots of that, a little Prussian blue, which might actually go across the top in that sky pretty quick here, now that I'm thinking about it, if I want that in there. I better put it in there pretty much right now. Yep, something just fell over. It's the day of grit. I can't seem to keep it out. I have cleaned my spatulas, but it's still coming back for more. All right, I like that. It 
The Prussian blue actually makes excellent mountains. I just hate wasting the paint and it's on my finger and it's on my spatula and it says, use me, use me. <laughs> I know I'm weird. It's okay. You'll recover. I'm going to wipe that off because I might need it again in a minute. All right. So, where was I? I was adding paint to my little dish. And I think I'm going to skip. I'm going to go sans the copper this time. And I'm going to grab that bottle of white back again. That looks like quite a bit of paint, but it's okay. Now there's more of it. Let's see what we can do with it. I don't know why I can't seem to put my bottles out of my way as I would. But I guess that's the definition of work. Let's get as much of that paint out of there as possible. Even though it's white paint, it's still invaluable to me. So right now my choice is to decide which direction to travel in first. And if I get it evenly over on both sides, just put an edge catcher on the canvas. I can take the pooled paint and either use it off the edge catcher or pull it back, pour it right back on into the composition, which is something I really do like doing. These are much larger patterns than I'm used to, but it was part of my plan to try this. And I'm basically just filling in wherever I see. And I can always use my basting brush or even a skewer. to add some sort of texture to the landscape. I've wanted some uneven areas in my, at my horizon line and this might be my attempt. This might be my successful attempt at doing that. I'm gonna squeeze that over. I kinda like the bottom as it is. I really do want to put the basting brush in there and play with it because I know there's other colors hidden in there. I want that to go right back up where it came because I liked it so much better when it was the way that it was than I do right now. If that doesn't mean anything. I'm going to let all of that spread right off and use it on the bottom in a minute. I love watching those cells pop. I don't use any silicone in my, in my paint pour pouring mixture. Cool. Very cool. Might even lend itself to a tree. You never know. I'm going to grab a little bit of this paint and fill in right there. Rather than trying to swipe it, I'm just going to use a little more because the GAC 800 by Golden means that if I have paint that's heavy, I can not, I don't have to worry about it cracking when it dries. It's not even that heavy. I don't know why everybody's freak, so freaked out. So I see a naturally forming line there, line of demarcation for those, for that mountain that's in the distance or running up the edge of my canvas, whatever you want to call it. Maybe I can actually do that. Let's give ourselves a purple mountain over there. Maybe on the other side too. Ooh. That'd help me with my edge problem. Okay, so I have to decide what I, what if anything I'm doing to this bottom and I really kind of like that blue color, but I have this other beautiful paint. It seems like it would be wasted if I don't use it, so I'm going to use it. Make sure there's no paint on my straw this time. Yes, please. And last time I blew after you guys were gone and I found out there's all kinds of cool stuff in there.
not only that, there's also spit in there. <laughs> Clean your straw out every once in a while. Or you'll be sorry like I am. Oh, darn. Okay, so there's enough paint in these puddles that I'm putting down here to cover over the bottom. But I'm also thinking that I like what's there enough to do very little to it to make it into what I want it to be. I've got to keep some of that blue that I like. Got a little blue I wasn't sure I liked there. Gonna run all of that puddle right over. And even though this could lend itself to a tree or trees, I'm just going to give it a try. All I'm doing is inserting that bamboo skewer. Not the pointed end either, the blunt end with the with the paintball on it. And then I'm going to pull it down just on one side. And I think if it dries looking like trees, that's great, and if it doesn't, I could fix it tomorrow, or add to it tomorrow, or make it look more like trees tomorrow. I think as long as they stick up above the horizon, they're going to look kind of like trees anyway. I don't know. They're very subtle, very snowy trees. Could also be trees up on that hillside. The paint tends to spread. I kind of don't mind the idea of that. So maybe I'll just use what I just did as a uh, as a backdrop for a forest in the for well it's not foreground really but it's not background either I don't know what I don't know how to describe that right now while I'm attempting to make a stand of trees up on my hillside which are pretty much in the same place I put trees every time so you can complain a little bit if you want to. I've got some paint over there on the edge of my tile, and I don't know if using it I'm going to almost done, so if I can make this work. I'll be surprised, but like I said, there's always tomorrow. They look more like trees than they did a little bit ago. Oh goody, now it's a forest as far as the eye can see. That's neat. Just pulling those marks over. Just adding those tiny little insignificant blue shadows in there. And I think that's kind of working. Wow. Okay, this is Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard asking you to share and thanking you for being here. Please share my videos. Can I have a thumbs up? Pretty please. Um, if you'd like to contribute to keep the studio going as people have in the past, thank you very much people in the past. I really appreciate you keeping me going. Um, you can look for the video on the end screen of this video, which is an exhibition video, and it will show you the prizes for next month's drawing, which are, I believe, at this exact moment, you'll have to check every month for a change. At this exact moment, that would be two 16 by 20s, a calendar, or my book. Um, one of those prizes, not all of them. It's going to cost me over $100 to send one of those 1620s by 20s anywhere. 
so I'm going to be not running the contest. But I am inviting Canadians to enter if they want to pay shipping, and I mention that when I give you a receipt. Yes, I just did that, and I don't mind it, but I think <laughs> I think I probably shouldn't have done everything that I just did, and I want to do something else with it. which means maybe one little tiny cloud in the sky won't hurt anything. Even if it's a night cloud. I'm sorry, I had to give it friends. which I left my bottle in my way. All right, so I love you guys, and there's 85,000 of you, and I'm still working on the painting, obviously. And I could put a moon or stars in here, but I'm not going to do it right now. I added a moon to one of my past pieces. i got to keep my fingers out. Wow. That was just... too silly for words. Okay, so that's pretty much that. I'm going to check my list. i got 12 seconds before my timer goes off. If you decide you'd like to help help me out by going shopping on my Amazon link, it's at no added cost to you, and there's awesome tools there, and it's list number one. My art is for sale. I give private lessons into the house. It's in Spring Hill. If you're not getting notifications and you signed up for them, you want to check that they're turned on, and you want to check that your computer has notifications allowed for YouTube. I don't know what that thing is. It just looks wrong up, upside down. Um, if you find a part one or a part two video without the part one or the part two, look under show more under the video because sometimes the links are there. And if the link isn't there, please tell me. Um, if you guys decide that you would like to binge watch, you can find my face. Click on it if the little hand shows you that it'll take you to my channel header. Click, um, click playlists, created playlists, and when it drops down to created playlists, click that again. So just keep clicking created playlists until you come up with nine lists. So there are eight lists of 100 and one list that's being populated that will have 100 in it eventually and other lists by genre such as scapes or geometrics or swipes or chain pulls or ring pours or balloon rolls. So um, let's see. <laughs> I want to say thank you again to everybody for all the wonderful comments you leave me every day to keep my morale up while YouTube is weird. I really want your thumbs up. Please, please give it to me. If you're looking to join a Facebook group where students can ask questions and get information to share with each other, I have a group called Facebook Expressionist, excuse me, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, and another one called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, where you can shop and find my Amazon, excuse me, find my pixels.com and Fine Art America merch and uh, all the stuff I've been posting there for artwork, even digital, since 2013. Just a fun place to go. Under the video, you're going to find Teespring clothing. You can find all over print t-shirts and leggings there. Also, under the video, you will find in the description my li link to Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Pinterest has a lot of cool stuff on it. Really a lot. Um, I think that's it. Wow, I did it. I mentioned the drawing is on the end screens. Um, I'm almost, I'm, I'm headed for 85,000 and I'm thinking about memberships and I'm, I, I suspect memberships will be about $5 a month on the first tier and I can't wait to find out what you guys have to say about that because um, only ever 1% of you are watching out of the 85,000 at any given point in time and I'm hoping that changes before I bother to, to um, open that can of worms. <laughs> but there could be all kinds of cool perks. So let me know what you think. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I am getting faster at doing this, and I will start to add trees closer up. And I do love you guys very, very much. Bye for now. Priscilla out, and I'll see you anon. Oh, check the community board on my channel for tomorrow's video. It's often there. Bye for now. See ya. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs>